everybody. I'm here with my favorite horror movie couple who I got to spend a little bit of time in Asbury Park watching them love each other and hate each other on screen and terrify each other at the same time. I'm here with Augie Duke and Michael Reed. She's, Hello. She's also the producer. Associate producer of 645. Yes, that's me. <laughs> I am so happy to see you guys. It's been over a year since we've seen each other in person. And can you imagine what a year it's been? where we were on set in Asbury Park when it was freezing on the beach and you were living every day the same and then every day became the same. Incredible. And then after we wrapped, the pandemic happened. Yes. <laughs> moment to moment, just really method acting. It yeah. never ended. The movie never ended. Truth is stranger than fiction, y'all. Yeah, it's true. I find the best art, though, something really happens from a film or project I've done, it happens in real life. I blame both of you for pandemic, basically, is what it's I'm trying fault. to say. It's our fault. That's actually kind it's of all your fault. It's true. Yeah. It's true. It's true. So Ooh, we should probably talk about the film yeah. and how much I adore these two. <laughs> but why don't you guys tell us a little bit about your characters, and then I'll ask you a little bit more about stuff. I play Jules Rabel, the girlfriend of this one. Bobby. Does Bobby have a last name? I don't know. <laughs> I think Bobby has a last name. I don't remember the last yeah. name because I'm a horrible producer, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, we called yeah. him Bobby the Just whole Bobby. time. Just Bobby. Yeah, and we go on a beautiful weekend getaway that is so romantic the whole time. It's the most romantic getaway I think I've been on. Yeah. Yeah, um, Yeah, I play Bobby, and uh, he's kind of a uh, the boyfriend who's trying to redeem himself for being kind of a not-so-nice guy. And so his idea is to bring uh, Jules out to a romantic getaway and um, maybe pop the big question. What? Spoiler! I don't remember that. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, because it's in the trailer. It's in the trailer. Wait a minute. It's, it's in, in the, the trailer. It's in the trailer. Don't worry. It's in the trailer. I thought this through. It's okay. No, it's, it's totally fine. It's totally. I'm with you. I'm supporting all of this. Yeah. Just Bobby. Yeah. Yep. We support you, babe. Just Bobby. <laughs> just Bob. Just Bobby. So for those that don't know, you guys are a real couple in real life. I mean, are I we? thought you guys just met. Are you guys, are you guys a real couple? I don't know. Are we? Yeah. All right. First of all, we have to acknowledge that Miss Augie Duke is pregnant at the moment. Did you impregnate me, Bobby? Oh my God. No. It's a 6:45 baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is. It is. Maybe. It's the mailman. I'm kidding. It's you. <laughs> it's Shadow Man. Yeah, it's Shadow Man. It's somebody, it's somebody that we can't mention, but we'll figure it out. You have to watch the movie. So let's ask some movie questions. Let's ask some questions. Um, how was it filming in Asbury Park in such a wonderful close set where we all at the same place, you had some great kumbaya moments, mm -hmm. but you guys were together every single day, which you both already are, but you had to kind of have this tug of war and push each other to really intense moments. How was that? <laughs> uh, it, one, Tell me how you really first feel. First of all, the location was incredible. Uh, they set us up in this Airbnb that was also the location, and they put, it's kind of a grassroots film, so they put the whole cast and crew, a lot of them in there, and we became huge friends, and uh, everyone was amazing. So that's the location-wise. Yeah. It was like sleepaway camp. Sleep I had a camp. lot of support from my girlfriends. Yeah, lots of support. It was actually awesome. I mean, I had my moments, like I have my moments in real life where I'm like, other than that, I was great. Yeah, and working together with her, she's well. She's a she's an amazing actress, but she's also a pro. But also yeah. that we know each other, just it really so I'm just at your face. it <laughs> helped. It helped with a lot because um, we know how, we know yeah. how far we the can go with each other. Wasn't hard. The chemistry was it was already there and True. easy. Yeah. True. Yeah. Have you guys worked together on set before as a couple? Not as a couple. Not as a couple, but we have, uh, as friends, we played a, an ensemble together on yeah. a, a little film. And then we became friends with benefits. And then yeah. we became together. <laughs> and then now you're parents. And now oh my we're going to be parents now we're to be. Parents to be. Yeah. I feel like I've seen the whole relationship, just the whole thing. I was there every step of the you way. Were. <laughs> you were. It's so true. You so were. It's very true. It's so so true. yes, we all made best friends on set. Yeah. I, can, I can attest to this. But one thing that I miss being on set that I have to ask you guys about was that we always would play the best music to get ready. Hell yeah. So what has been your ultimate 645 dance party song? I don't remember the name of it, but if it's a song that I think you're thinking well, of. Well, Angel awesome. Sotero, our makeup yeah. and hair, did my makeup and hair tonight. Thank you very much. Mm. It's Angel. all real. Um, 
What did, what music did we play? We played like everything. We played like a song that wait, had like, the same oh, wait, wait. thing all the time. We need Allie for um, this because she'd probably um, know what it is. I don't know. I'll ask her when she but, comes on. But board. Craig was amazing. The director Craig, oh, yeah, Craig singer was. Amazing. He was amazing at laying down the tonality and, and getting us prepped for the mood of where we needed to go. And yeah. I love that personally as an actor that he would be playing the music on set that yeah, would Craig get singer us to where we needed played, to go. Yeah. And he picked just the right music because he's got my taste. And it was awesome. Was it a diva is a female version of a hustler? Maybe. Beyonce? Maybe. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Sure. So Craig Singer is amazing. We all yeah. love him. He's kind of like Papa Bear. Here. Yeah, he's the he's the main main guy that brought us all together. Yeah. What was it like working with Craig? Like you just said, he is so hands on as a director yeah. and a producer and a friend. Yeah. And working with him, I know I truly enjoy. But how was it kind of working with him as a director? He's an asshole. I mean, he's amazing. He's, he's great. <laughs> he put us through the ringer. No, he, well, he did. Well, I mean, he, he, did, he needed to put us through the ringer because the, how no, it was can't. shot and how Bobby goes through this repeat day situation, it was incredibly difficult. And so, yeah. but how he set everything up was great. And he's, he put so, you he's through a the laid ringer. back, but he's also very controlled and laid back at the same time. So, controlled chaos. He's yeah. amazing. We love him. He's family. But he put him through the ringer because you had to go yeah. through the ringer for many yeah. different reasons, which you will find out in our movie. Yes. Watch the film. So the last question I have for you is, I promise it's not that hard, but did you guys learn anything about yourselves as a couple, working as a couple, and going through this very, I mean, I wouldn't say a horror film is probably like the best thing to do as a couple, but I'm sure you learned a lot about yourselves. What are some things that you learned? Yeah, there's this word called patience. Um, I don't Great know word. if you've heard of it. Great word. But I learned that. I think um, listening. Listen. I mean, it works both in our industry and well in a relationship. So I think let her do her thing and playing off her, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. <clears throat> Women first. I love you guys. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> um, maybe we'll hang out in person sometime again. Absolutely. Without a crazy time setting, setting us apart for over a year. But thank you so much. I can't wait to see this film. And this is Jordan Elizabeth Galber with Shakya.